it was a date the Sooners had circled on their calendars. October 11th, the Red River Shootout. They brought a 5-0 record and a number one ranking to Texas. They would leave with a loss, falling to the Longhorns 45-35. to Losing to Texas was big for us. I think it kind of opened our eyes to a lot of different things. Oklahoma's rushing game was exposed, totaling just 48 yards on 26 carries against the Longhorns. Since then, led by Heisman winner Sam Bradford, the Sooner offense has been on fire. When they scored more than 60 points in five straight games this season, it was the best offensive output by any team in 90 years. AP Sports writer Jeff Ladsky has watched the Sooners all season. It made them take a close second look at what they were doing wrong. And and maybe uh, took some of that, you know, extra overconfidence away from them and, and made them really work hard the rest of the year. Florida's matchup on September 27th was not expected to be a season changer. The 3-0 and Gators were coming off a blowout victory over conference rival Tennessee when they hosted Ole Miss in the Swamp. The result was unthinkable. The unranked Rebels topped the fourth-ranked Gators 31-30. to It was a game that I felt we shouldn't have lost. Uh, we didn't go out there and play to the best of our potential. But what Gator quarterback Tim Tebow did on the field that day wasn't nearly as important as what he said to reporters after the game. What I wanted to do is go in there and apologize to the Gator Nation uh, for this loss and the way we performed. After Tebow uh, apologized, he made a promise. I'm going to be the hardest working player in college football, that our team's going to be the hardest working team in college football, and we're not going to go out there and perform like that. Tebow and the Gators delivered, running the table in a season that culminated with their win over undefeated Alabama in the SEC championship. Tebow's emotional comments got a lot of attention, but did his words spark a championship run? AP writer Mark Long covers the Gators year-round. He inspired everybody, and defenders too. So uh, I don't think there's any chance there in this game without him and that speech. Going into bowl season, eight of the top 10 teams in the BCS had a single loss. Whether it was the timing of Florida's loss or the team Oklahoma lost to, those two programs were able to overcome defeat better than all the others. Covering the BCS championship in Fort Lauderdale, Jason Bronis, the Associated Press.